Kill me, I'm here! Kill me! Hey everybody, this is Matthew Movies coming at you with my review of Ted 2, the Seth MacFarlane comedy, quote unquote, that came out in 2015 that stars Mark Wahlberg and Amanda Seyfried and Seth MacFarlane's voice as the voice of the teddy bear Ted. Now, I did watch the first movie and I thought it, it was alright. There were several moments in, the, in it that I thought were amusing. There was some parts of it that I didn't necessarily care for, but overall, I, you know, I thought it was a worthy watch. So I was always curious about checking this one out, but I never got around to it until fairly recently. And when I watched it, I gotta say, I was not a fan. Now, to give you an idea of my history with Seth MacFarlane, I used to love Family Guy. In the first three seasons that it came out, I thought it was absolutely hysterical. I was so jazzed for it to come back. And then I watched the first episode, and I thought that it was just not nearly as funny as it was before it came back. Now, I know that it's into, like, it's like 16 season or some craziness like that I, I mean who knew that cartoons would go last on and on and on like they do these days between the Simpsons Family Guy and, and South Park but at the same time and I, I know that there that there's a lot more of it, and I should probably give it a chance again. And I've watched a few episodes here and there, and there are some that I've liked, some that I don't. But I felt like th there was a problem with the show. First off, I thought the level to which they took the vulgarity and the offensive content was too far for me. Now, I'm not saying that I am one that, you know, shrinks away from offensive content, because there's lots of movies and shows that I've liked that had them in it. But to me, it has to add to the story. It has to add a joke. I do, the problem I've had with a lot of that stuff in Seth MacFarlane's stuff is I feel like the fact that it's offensive is supposed to be the joke. And it's the same with a lot of his reference references. I love a good pop culture reference in a movie. Like, Clerks, when they did the whole conversation about the Star Wars people on the Death Star, I thought was amazing. And you know, there's all kinds of, of examples like that. Obviously, I like talking about movies, so I love things that reference movies, right? But again, just throwing out a reference isn't a joke. It's not funny in and of itself just because you're like, hey, remember that thing that you like? Well, this is a thing that makes you think about that thing. Isn't that hilarious? No, it's not. You have to make a joke. And I feel like this movie is definitely an example of how his comedy has gone down that route. Like, I, there was, in the entire time I watched this movie, I laughed twice. I can't remember exactly what the last word, and that kind of says a lot in and of itself, but there was two times I, I took note that I chuckled during the entire movie. The rest of the time, it was just kind of sitting back, watching it, and being like, okay, yeah, I see where they're going with this. And, and it, the, the plot wasn't nearly good enough to, to overcome the lack of humor in my personal view. I just, I don't know, I just, I didn't hate this movie. I just literally watched it with a face that was kind of like this. Just waiting for it to be over because, I don't know, I just never, I never felt connected to any of the characters. There was some moments in it that I thought were just atrocious. I re it really irks me when I watch a movie and they have people get baked or high or what have you and they, they present them in this manner that is just so goofy and over the top. And it's something you see in a lot of movies and I thought this movie definitely has that. There's multiple scenes where you see that Mark Wahlberg's character gets high and he's so big that he has to have people help him as he's walking down the street because he feels like he's falling off of the wall of the building that he's up against and I'm like come on I used to get high when in my teen years I haven't in many many years at this point but I used to that stuff does not happen maybe if he was taking this a uh, much more severe style of drug or or if they set it up that his marijuana was laced then what that'd be one thing but that doesn't happen it irks me so much when people overact getting high or overact getting drunk it's it's really, really frustrating to me. And this movie has that in multiple scenes. And the, like I said, there's just there's so many moments in it that you can tell that I could tell I was supposed to be laughing because something offensive happened. Or, you know, there's there's a moment in the trailer where Mark Wahlberg's character has a whole bunch of semen falling all, all over him. And I knew that was supposed to be funny. And it's gross. I'll give them that. But 
in and of itself, it's not funny. There has to be something more to it. You have to have something funny there. You have to have something witty. It's just none of this stuff works for me. Now that and that, that is all my opinion. I guarantee you there are people who will love this movie. And I'm not saying they're wrong. I'm saying why it doesn't work for me. Like Half Baked is a movie that I think is absolutely hysterical and there is a lot of <laughs> he's high kind of humor in it, but to me, there's jokes behind it that are funny. There's there's moments, in, there's wit, there's all that kind of stuff, and I feel like that's lacking here. That may not be the case for you, and if that's true, if you love this movie, if you thought it was hilarious, then all the power to you. But for me, it just didn't work. So those are my thoughts on Ted 2. Let me know what you think below. Let me know if you're a Seth MacFarlane fan, if you, if you think he's a pox on comedy. I, I wouldn't quite go that far, but I do understand why shows like South Park and The Simpsons have taken shots at him. Basically how you feel about Family Guy and his whole style of humor where it's something gross and something that you references something that you know in the past and that passes for comedy. I will say one of my favorite episodes of Family Guy happened, I mean it's old at this point, but it was a little bit later where it was an entire episode that was all referenced to uh, to Back to the Future and there's a moment in it where, with Rick Astley that just killed me to this day. That episode, love it. Other than that, let me <laughs> hit the like button, hit the comment button, hit the share button. I should say there's no comment button, but hit the share button, hit the like button. It makes it much more possible that people will be able to check out my stuff that wouldn't otherwise, and that would be awesome. And please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell if you're new here. I love talking to people about movies, and I would love it if you would join in the conversation, the back and forth, and the comment section. That would be awesome. Other than that, why don't you have yourself a great day?